the thyroid SIBO connection. Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and you've probably heard of SIBO, which causes many of the symptoms of IBS, gas, bloating, abdominal pain or distension, constipation, diarrhea, or an oscillation of the two. And there may be a thyroid tie-in to this SIBO, the small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Recently, a study was published showing that those with subclinical hypothyroidism produced less bile. So two things we have to discuss here then, subclinical hypothyroid and bile. Bile is important because it's released by your gallbladder and it helps in digestion of fats, but it also is antibacterial. And it's often not appreciated that bile is antibacterial and it's one of the digestive secretions that helps prevent bacterial overgrowth in the small intestines is this bile. So um, those with subclinical hypothyroidism secreted less bile. So then what is subclinical hypothyroidism? Subclinical hypothyroidism is essentially where you have an elevation of TSH, but normal T4 and T3 or free T4 and free T3. So thyroid hormone production is normal, but the TSH is elevated. And this can be a very challenging uh, finding because we don't want to overtreat necessarily and put everyone with subclinical hypothyroidism on thyroid hormone because that can have negative impacts also. Uh, but we're seeing that subclinical hypothyroidism can have some uh, deleterious manifestations also. So in this case, the optimum treatment is going to be need, uh, needed to be made on a case-by-case -case basis. There's not one, one size fits all recommendation to be made here. But one thing that I do in the clinic to help navigate to this is I put all of my SIBO patients on a digestive support supplement that contains bile to make sure that at least uh, in, in our initial stages of therapy, we're covering our bases to make sure we have adequate bile in the small intestine to help both with fat absorption and with its uh, antibacterial effects. In some cases, you may be able to say many cases of uh, thyroid involvement improving the health of the gut will improve the health of the thyroid. So you may not need to, uh, when you first see subclinical hypothyroid, you may not need to have that treated, but rather treat the gut, and by fixing the gut, you may fix the thyroid. So hopefully uh, this concept helps. If you're struggling with SIBO and you haven't been using any bile, that may be helpful. And if you have not had your thyroid evaluated, that may be helpful also. So there is the SIBO thyroid connection. This is Dr. Ruscio, and I hope this helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks.